Yes, it's recording. Okay, so, this is my project on Buddhism. Go. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. Welcome to my trip to Japan. Keep rolling. I learned many things about Buddhism. And not only through reading books, but being able to travel the countryside and visit Buddhist temples and shrines. I hope through this experience that I've learned not only a little bit about Buddhist religion, but learned more about my own religion and how it compares to Buddhism. I also hope that as you watch this, you learn a little bit about Buddhism and my experiences as I was in Japan this summer. Welcome to Kinkakuji Temple. This temple is located in Kyoto, Japan. As we proceed towards the temple, um, I'll tell you a little bit about what goes on in the temple. Uh, the temple is off limits to those who are not uh, Buddhist monks. Uh, the temple was built in 1393 and it houses Buddha's ashes in the bottom floor and in the second floor and third floor are um, were used for samurai's housing. Um, the temple is c covered in gold and it is very important to the Buddhists because of the fact that it contains Buddha's ashes. Um, things from the past, relics, um, and things are very important to the Buddhists as it preserves their history as well as provides a way for them to uh, be connected with the past. It also has to do with their belief that um, life is continuous and that if you are connected to your past, your future will be much better and you will uh, strive to live a better life through the ways of Buddhism. As we take a look at these next few temple pictures, you'll notice that some of these temples have bells on them. These bells are used to wake up the gods so that you can pray to them and ask for uh, 
blessings over your life. And as we view this temple, we notice that there are two lion statues out front. Um, these lion statues are used to guard the temple. Um, if you are um, worthy enough, they will let you pass and go through the temple, and you may offer your sacrifices to many different gods. This is how you have a blessed life, or a sin-free life, is if you pray to statues like this and give your money. This next picture shows a shrine to an invisible god, one that you can't even possibly know. And this next picture is a Buddha that you may pray to as well. But there is some hope for Japanese people. Schools like Ashia International School teach children from a young age that there is such thing as sin, that any time that you do something wrong or do something mean towards someone else, that that's a sin. Any time you don't listen to your parents or follow their instructions, that's also a sin. The school also teaches children that they can have a relationship with a real God, a loving God, a God that sent his son to die for them, to pay for their sins. This gives hope to people in a country that follow a religion that has no hope. This is why, as Christians, we have an obligation to share with those who don't know the gospel of Jesus Christ, to give those without hope, hope. は腕は鈍ってないかな。